Um, this one's called Consistent with Being Boiled. I couldn't stop staring at the place where her feet should have been. It was as if she was floating, as if they all were floating, but her in particular. I tried to resist the temptation for as long as I could. Having the sun in my eyes didn't help matters. What else is there to do when a balloon is just beginning to lose enough air that it's hovering within your grasp? Except tilt your head, reach out your hand, and push. And that's what I did. But you turn into lead, and then a pig, and I had to have her sent to the butcher. When she returned, it was torso here, head there, innards everywhere, and I had nowhere else to put her dress and hat and stockings except my own body. For two weeks, I had no feet just like her, and I levitated from London to Ireland and back until a coal porter tethered a rope to me like a cord before the quickening and taught me how long it would take to drop her bone structure into a hole in the wall. Thanks. <laughs>